Hello, everyone. It's great seeing you today on our webinar devoted to exploring Masters in Management program that you can study at Lancaster University, Leipzig. My name is Elvira Fritsche. I'm a Student Recruitment Manager Europe at LU Leipzig, and we are honored today by the presence of uh, Dr. Nia Jindal, our assistant professor in economics, and who is also a program lead for Masters in Management. Hello, Niha. Hello, hello. Hi, Alvira. So I'm going just to outline our schedule for today's webinar. I'm going to just briefly introduce to you to Lancaster University Leipzig in a couple of slides, and then I will pass the word to Dr. Jindal. And uh, you are free to write your questions in a questions and answers sections. Uh, during the webinar, I will try to answer you uh, typing there, and uh, if um, I'm not capable of replying to them, I will pass this question to Dr. Jindal in the end when we have the time for questions and answers section. All right then, I'm going to share my screen now with a very brief presentation because I'm pretty sure you attended a couple of our uh, virtual open days uh, previously. Um, yeah, just uh, give me a minute. Second, yes. All right, Lancaster University Leipzig is a um, official campus of Lancaster University is a branch campus located in Leipzig, Germany. We established in 2019 and are operative since 2020. Uh, we are located just one hour train ride from Berlin, um, and we had our first graduates just last year, so um, it's a very um, exciting historical moment for us. We, um, With us, you can study um, business uh, programs, accounting and finance, computer science, software engineering, and a few master's programs that we um, decided to launch here at Lancaster University Leipzig in management, first of all, logistics and supply chain management, cybersecurity, and data science. Um, as we're operating in Leipzig just a few years, um, our numbers are growing. And at the moment, we have more than 400 students on campus and are almost 100 nationalities represented here in Leipzig. Um, we refer to Lancaster University's global reputation. Um, and according to the last US world rankings, uh, Lancaster University is 122nd um, in the world rankings and uh, constantly among top 15 uh, top universities in the UK. Um, yeah, Lancaster University has research partnerships in uh, more than 60 countries. Um, and for example, uh, Masters in Management programs is also very highly ranked uh, among the UK universities in management. So that's it for now for uh, my part here. Um, and let me just stop sharing the screen. And I would ask Dr. Uh, Jindal to start her presentation on the Masters in Management program that you all joined to learn more about today. Thank you very much for your attention. I'm going to mute myself and stop the video. Thank you very much, Alvira. Uh, hello, everyone. My name is Neha Chandu, and I'm the program lead of MSc Management at Lancaster University Leipzig. I also teach economics uh, to undergraduate and master's students here. Thank you very much for joining this webinar. So today, I'll take this opportunity to introduce you uh, to our MSc Management program and to highlight the important features. Uh, if you have any questions, our queries, please uh, drop that in the chat box. Elvira and me will take care of that. 
Okay, so let's get started. So the main aim of this program is to provide our students with a solid foundation in the main areas of management, principles, theories, and practices. So this program is designed very carefully to help students to develop knowledge in the main areas of management like entrepreneurship, operational management, accounting and finance, business ethics, strategy, digital transformation, project management, business project, marketing, business ethics, etc. So by mastering all these core modules, concepts, you will be able to develop a deeper understanding about management and also learn the interactions between the functions of management, okay? So the ultimate aim of this program is to prepare our students for a better career in various industries and in various sectors, okay? The one thing I would like to tell you that this program is designed for the students with zero background in business studies. So if you are a professional or a graduate from any background uh, and you would like to have a career in management, then this degree is for you, okay? So we would not require any kind of work experience uh, to pursue this master's degree. Okay, so now let's move on to program learning outcomes. So basically, let me just... So these are the program learning outcomes. Uh, these are basically the skill set that we would like our students to have towards the end, towards the completion of the degree. So throughout this degree, you will develop a lot of theoretical knowledge in the key areas of management. But as we all know, that theoretical knowledge is not enough to excel in the business world. Practical knowledge is very important as well. So having this thing in mind, we carefully designed our programs that will give emphasis a lot on applied learning and practical knowledge. So for this, we, uh, we provide our students uh, to work on a real business problems and consulting assessments. So through this experience, the students will be able to use their theoretical knowledge and apply this knowledge to the real world business problems. Apart from this, you will be able to do data analysis and find solutions to various business problems. And we also expect you towards the end to do independent research on an area which is within the management studies and then critically reflect on the findings. So this is all about the knowledge, conceptual knowledge. But apart from this, we also focus on personal development of our students. Uh, we do some kind of workshops on campus that will help you to enhance soft skills. For example, your communication skills, your presentation skills, your writing skills, how to work effectively in a team. So we work a lot uh, towards that as well. So we would expect that towards the end, you have the ability to work autonomously, to act autonomously, and take responsibility of your learnings and development, and also demonstrate flexibility uh, in your approach. So you should have this self-development attitude. So these are the things that we would like our students to have towards the completion of the degree, and we work our best towards it. So here I'm gonna tell you something about the structure of our MSc program. So these are the term dates. Uh, basically this program is for one year and this is a full-time program and divided into three different terms. So the first term is Michaelmas term, second term is Lent term, and the third term is summer term. Each term comprise of 10 weeks. So you can see here that Michaelmas term starts from 7th of October until 13th of December. Uh, these are the dates for next academic year. Lent term starts from 13th of January until 21st of March. And the summer term is from 22nd of April until 27th of June. And then you have July and August, which is dedicated towards your dissertation work. And in September, 
uh, we would expect submission of your dissertations. So this is how the whole year is uh, uh, going to be planned by us. So here you can see a complete structure of uh, MIM program. So you can see here three different columns, uh, Michelmast, uh, term, uh, Lent term, and summer term, okay? So in Michelmas uh, term, you will be doing uh, five compulsory modules. And these modules are research methods, accounting and finance management, marketing management, uh, organizational behavior and human resource management and operational management. So these are like compulsory modules. There is no option here. This is what you will be doing in Michelmas term. And then students will be assessed on the basis of exam and coursework. There are some modules where you will have exams and there are other modules where you will be assessed on coursework submission. In Lent term, you will be doing four modules, entrepreneurship, strategic management, business ethics and society, digital transformation of business. And these all are compulsory modules. Again, there's no choice here. And the students can be assessed based on their group work and coursework assessment. In the summer term, initial four weeks, you will have some level of teaching, but rest of the term is dedicated towards preparation of your business projects. You will be provided the timeline for your business projects uh, in the beginning of the summer term. So this is basically a structure of uh, MIM program. So the one thing to note here is uh, that we are going to follow block teaching in our MSc management program. So in block teaching, the courses are delivered in concentrated period. So in our case, it is going to be a block of two weeks. So this means that students will focus solely on one module at a time for two weeks. Uh, so that's why we say the learning is going to be intense and uh, most of the modules are taught in two weeks block. So typically you will be spending about six hours of learning a day. And this could be in the form of lectures, seminars, tutorials, and on your own. As I've mentioned before, that we pay a lot of attention to your personal and professional development. For your personal development, we do some workshops on campus that focus on enhancing your soft skills. For professional development, it is very important to connect you to the real world. And for that, in the last academic year, we did a lot of industry guest speakers. We invite a lot of industry professionals to share their experience, insight, and practical knowledge with our students. And I feel this is very, very beneficial for our students to gain such knowledge. And we also did some company visits, for example, to DHL, to, uh, to Porsche, and there are many more, which you can find on our website. Uh, so these company visits will give opportunities to students to observe and understand the inner workings of different industries and interact with the professional and gain insights into industry-specific practices. So these are the different ways by which we try our students to connect with the real world and to see uh, what exactly is happening in business environments. Uh, this will also help our students to build more connections with such people that will help in their career perspectives. So uh, now I'm gonna talk about management project. This is the majority uh, of uh, so majority of the uh, the year will concentrate it on your management projects. Um, here you will have an option. You can either go for research oriented project or you can go for company projects. It's your choice. In research oriented projects, students will undertake independent research, and they build on the knowledge that is gained during the taught modules. And in this case, you will submit only one single report, which is 100% of your dissertation. In company projects, you will be working in a group. 
Normally, the group is going to be of three to four students. It can increase to five to six students, depending on the cohort. And here we will assign you to a local company to work on a real business problem. You will have a supervisor on campus, and then you will have a supervisor in the company as well. And that's how you're going to prepare uh, a report, a group report, which comprises 40% of uh, the dissertation work, and 60% is your individual reflection report. So we'll give you more uh, details on this uh, closer uh, to the period of management report when you will start preparing for it. And towards the end, I would like to discuss some career opportunities. So MSc management equips you with a versatile skill set that will open a lot of opportunities uh, across various sectors and industries. So here are some roles uh, that uh, you can pursue after finishing your MSc management degree, business consultant, entrepreneur, key accountant manager, product manager, project manager, operations manager, and there are many more as well. In the marketing as well, you can do a successful career after finishing MSc management degree. Uh, and also I would like to tell you about uh, Leipzig City, where the campus is located. So as we all know that uh, Leipzig is one of the fastest growing cities in Germany and offers a lot of opportunities for management professionals. So here you can see a lot of uh, presence of a lot of uh, multinational companies and also multicultural population. And this together will give Leipzig a global outlook and international connection, which is very beneficial if you want to pursue your management career over here. So there are lots of industries, automobile industries, technical industry services, uh, which we can see in Leipzig and they're growing and they want people to work with them. So Leipzig is also a good city in terms of work perspective. Um, the rest you can also find more stuff on internet about Leipzig campus. And if you have any questions, my email is on the website. Please feel free to contact me. I'm happy to give more information about our program. Thank you very much for joining the session. Uh, over to Alvira now. Thanks very much, Alvira. Thank you a lot, Niha. Um, yeah, I also learned a lot through the presentation today. Thank you. We have a question connected with the scholarships that we offer here on campus. And yes, we do. There are scholarships for pursuing the master's degree with us. Uh, by the way, for the students who do not meet our direct uh, entry requirement for a master's degree, we are happy to offer a pre-master's entry um, and full information about the scholarships that we offer and funding options you can find on our website because the tuition fee costs are different for international and domestic fee payers. That's why the scholarships are also uh, different. Um, must, I must say that there are funding options available for EU and UK passport holders. Um, if it is something that you are looking for, um, then we are also happy to advise you on that. And all the information is also listed on the website, as I told earlier. Um, do you have any other questions? Uh, you can um, write them in the chat. Um, can I pursue a subspecialization while working on projects, something like design management, for example? Um, how will you be able to reply to that one place? Um, let me just check the question once again. As far as I know, as far as I know, we do not offer any subspecializations, but I might be wrong here. Uh, so uh, what you can do, like basically for the company projects. So if you have a company in mind with whom you would like to work with, you can always give us information about that company. We'll contact. And if everything is fine, we'll let you work with that company. And uh, towards the end, we would like to have a report. Uh, so that is fine. Uh, but uh, because we have to allocate a supervisor from campus, and uh, the supervisor should have a speciality in that uh, particular topic. So we would uh, we'll have to see. So of course you should tell us where uh, in which topic you are interested, and we will try our best to uh, you know uh, to 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 uh, 
try to incorporate your preferences while giving you the projects. Yeah. Thank you very much. Are there any other questions? And if you would like to learn more about our campus and student life here, please do join our virtual open days, which we host every second Thursday of the month. Uh, there are also recorded webinars on our website with links and on our YouTube channel. Uh, you can also follow us on LinkedIn or Instagram. Um, and this webinar will also be shared um, upon completion with the attendees so that you can rewatch it and with everybody who couldn't join today as well. Yes, there are more questions. Um, yes, we are planning to introduce more master's programs in future and we are considering um, with a PhD as well, but this is not um, available at the moment. Um, Yes, uh, you can still apply to join us for October 2024 intake. Uh, the we are um, uh, we have the whole year running application process. So um, the most important for MSc students is that you join us directly from the program start date. So it is not possible to join us online. All our postgraduate students must be on campus. So uh, the question is, is that you are going to obtain your visa if you need one on time. So I um, advise you to start um, applying right now to submit your application right away so that uh, you are on time here to join us uh, in October. Uh, usually when you submit an application, uh, our admissions team, um, they're quite efficient. So within 72 hours, you are going to receive the offer. Uh, if everything is clear in your application, if not, then um, you'll be asked to submit more documents. Um, Dr. Jinda, could you please reply to this one? Uh, what will be taught in class entrepreneurship? Okay, so uh, if you have want, uh, details about specific modules that are covered in MSc management program, then again, you can go to our website. Over there, you can find a very uh, brief uh, uh, discussion on uh, the details, what is taught. Uh, and also, like, you will find details of the lecturer uh, who is involved in uh, teaching that module. So you can always get in touch and get more details. Thank you. Um, uh, if, uh, for example, somebody does not have their English results yet, like IELTS, TOEFL, or Cambridge certificate, you are free to submit your application without this, and then you are going to receive the conditional offer letter with this condition listed that you are still required to submit IELTS or another certificate or an alternative uh, once uh, you have it. Um, I do not see any other questions appearing yet um, and not in chat. As said, so if you have any questions later after the webinar, you are free to send them to our info at lancasterlabs.de to my email. Uh, I'm Dr. Elvira Fritsche. Uh, my contacts are also um, on our website and Dr. Nina Jindal, uh, if you have a um, subject related questions, uh, please do not send uh, Dr. Jindal anything related to uh, application process in the university scholarships or something like this, only program related questions. Um, uh, as I mentioned, we have different fees for our um, international uh, students and uh, domestic fee payers, which I'm referring as so EU and UK passport holders. That's why the tuition fees are different. Uh, we do not have a country-based uh, scholarship. Now, uh, we have a general scholarship for uh, international fee payers, which is quite generous. Um, and this you can see on the website. Uh, we do not have uh, entry like scholarship for EU fee payers because these um, is already quite a, a nice uh, fee that we are offering EU citizens. Um, if you are um, 
if you cannot start your studies in October 2024 and you already have the offer letter, please uh, send an email to our admissions uh, with a note that you would like to defer to um, 2025 and please um, explain why. Yeah, this is also possible, the deferral, if you cannot start this intake. Yeah. Well, thank you all very much for joining us today. Thank you very much, Dr. Jindal, for your marvelous presentation. Um, I do not see any other questions, so I think we are going to stop the recording now.